What's up guys, this is Tan Tan here and welcome back to my channel. Today, let's have a look at the new studio series Bumblebee Core Class Shockwave from the movie Bumblebee, of course. So I must say that this is a pretty surprise release to me because I was thinking like, why Shockwave in Core Class? Isn't he should be in Leader Class or at least Voyager Class? And then I thought maybe he transformed into a gun. And then I got this figure and to my surprise, he actually transformed into a tank. But more on that later. So now let's see this mini shockwave is worth the deal. Let's go. So here we have the core class shockwave. And I must say that I enjoyed this design. I have always said the Bumblebee franchise design is the really nice combination of the G1 design and Michael Bay's visions for Transformer. So you got both of that realistic yet retro vibe onto the figures and the characters. And here we got that as shockwave. You got that bulky body, that slim leg, and somewhat that nice flattered head. I actually I enjoy this head a lot. I wish the color of the eyes is red, but that is only my personal opinion because I'm a big fan of, you know, the Dark of the Moon shockwave and the Prime's shockwave, but the yellow eye is perfect. I enjoy this a lot, and it is painted though. So you don't need to worry too much about it not being noticed. And the main body is purple and silver. And you got some paint here and there, like on the chest, on the face, and of course the gun, more on that later. Leg got some details painted. So this is actually a black, a gunmetal gray piece, piece of plastic, and it got painted purple, and then a little bit of silver in there, which is pretty nice. And that is the overall aesthetic of this figure. I think it's time for us to get to the details. For the head, of course, you got that beautiful painted eyes and a lot of silver detailing on the face as well. Then the silver part on the head are painted, so that is pretty nice. Uh, they highlight the details and I enjoy this head sculpt a lot. And you got some fins on the back of him as well. That is really nice. And now moving on to the, sh the chest, the torso section. So this torso section, like shock waves, it's really pushing out and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this push out chest a lot and you got some nice detail over the chest. As you see, they got painted in a what a in a crimson red color and you got some silver lining over there, which is pretty nice, really nice. And if you look down, you see some mechanical details here and there. And I think it looks great. I think in my opinion, this looks great. And as for the arms, well, th isn't this there's some bulky arms? I enjoy this arm a lot. I think that this got some really nice details. You can see here the arms got painted, same as the leg. So the arm is kind of reverse to the leg. So this is actually a purple piece of plastic, and then they paint this part black. Same for the upper section as well. So I think that is some really nice detailing over there. And you got the hands and I must focus on to the arm itself. You see so many details over here. I think that this is a great way of showing how nice the design is by making a lot of details, surface detail under uh, there. And a shockwave wouldn't be shockwave if not for his gun. And this time we don't have a like a mechanical gun arms. This is actually a gun. Uh, I don't know in the movie, but this seems like a try. So I'm gonna check the gun out. The gun is painted with some silver to highlight the barrels and the mechanical details, which is pretty nice. And if you look closely here, there are two silver onto the gun. This here is look like a mid, a dark silver color, and the barrel is like a really shiny one. That in in my opinion, that is like a really nice effort. This is a really small figures, and the fact that they even try and use two different silver paint on it really makes me happy about this figure and to attach to the arms you're just gonna put this onto his hand like that and now it's just looking like he's holding the gun you know it's not like his arm is a gun so I think that there will be some third parties you know adding some add-ons and filling this whole section out so it feels more connected and of course that you can attach the guns onto both both of his arms so I what you like I think that this is a really nice add-on because for Shockwave's figure, a lot of people has the problem of like they want the sometimes they want both of his 
arms to be normal transformer arms. And sometimes they want to switch out the guns and they solve that problem. But I think that they could be improved, so we will wait for the third party guy. And now moving down to the leg section, and I must say this is a really nice. The legs look like bulky and slim at the same time. Look, just look at that thigh, torso, thigh section. A lot of details, feel like armor and all up there. And look at the leg, the lower leg. This is pure like the G1 design. And I enjoyed this so much. I mean, I really enjoyed it. And I'm happy about this as well. So there's this odd little details that I would like to point out. So this section of the leg of show web is completely hollow. This section here, you see. But this section over here, you got some details over there. So what is that? Is what is that? I'm I really confused. So is my copies a faulted one or this is an official? So if you do got this figure, let me know in the comment section below. So if you look at the back of this figure, wow, is that a really nice sculpted back? You see, you got a lot of details, but not overly details over there, and you still got some, you know, that mechanic yet by organic robot species over there. I enjoy this a lot, so I'm really happy for this guy as well. And one fact about this guy is that he doesn't have any screws because he's too small. So all he got is like snap-in ball joint or uh, metal stud, which makes, which makes him really solid. And he got a good feel to him even how small he is. I enjoy holding this guy a lot. So now for size comparison here, we got Shockwave next to his side reverse counterpart. This is Shockwave from Transformer Prime, Beast Hunters. And as you can see, this is clearly two different designs. While the Bumblebee Shockwave looks a lot more humanoid, the Shockwave from Beast Hunter looks like an actual robot. Like especially the Japanese aesthetic, you know, like sm small head, small bicep, small thigh, but then bigger at all parts. So I mean like both of this guy looks awesome. But to be picked the prefer, I would prefer the whole class Shockwave more than this, the Beast Hunter counterparts. I think that he looks more humanoid and I think he looks more realistic. And I enjoy the details over him, that's all. So now let's get to some action and articulation. First we got the head. You can do a 360. Unfortunately, you cannot do an up and down. For the shoulders, you can swing out three, swing it out like that. Do a 360. And this is the elbow band. And you got two swivel joint. One over here and one over there. And I think this is a really, really, a really nice add-on because you have no hands swivel. So this actually compensated. This is the kick to the front. Okay, but it got blocked by the armor. To the back, also blocked by the armor. This is split, which is okay. You got a, you have don't have any thigh swivel, but you got this weirdly transformation gimmick. This is the bend of the knee. One thing is really nice is that when you bend, the one there's this part here, they got that like <coughs> chop out. So it's actually feel more connected and I really enjoy that. You got, this is the leg, you got a toe, the leg bend. Articulation wise, this guy is decent for a core class and I would appreciate it if they give him a thigh squeeze or something But I guess it's too much to ask for the price point. So without further ado, let's get to transformation After finish transforming this guy, all we got left is a Cybertronian tank. And I must say, an ugly Cybertronian tank. I mean, I just turned him around. And you can see the, clearly the head. And don't let me even begin why this is an out mode. In my opinion, they got this out mode out of the original ideas came from the Cyberverse Shockwave. I mean, look at the similarities. Here's the other guy. But like, clearly, the other Shockwave is better. I mean, I, let's just look at him. Robot cables nicely hidden. The head is gone, and there are no parts forming stuff. But look at this shockwave over here, a complete disappointment. You can see, obviously see the arms right there. I mean like what? And the head? 
and the way the guns plugs onto the head it's just like uh i cannot accept it and in my opinion this is one of the worst figures in the bumblebee movie that ever came out speaking on the alternate mode terms i mean i love the robot mode don't get me wrong and I, i enjoy the robot mode so much but for the alternate mode the tank mode this is a complete disappointment i mean like he's a core class right why why don't just make him into i don't know a gun so like blitzwing and starscream can hold him or like the future megatron figures can hold him i think that is a better idea than try to be a tank because obviously this transform mechanism this this core class learn from the shockwave here the cyberverse one but failed i mean like he is this like a makeshift copies i mean this is a complete disappointment so in my conclusion if you're gonna buy this figure display him in the robot mode just stay away from this alternate mode because this is a disaster so i mean like should you get this figure yeah why not and so that will be it for today guys so i will see you guys later Tonton out. out